Chapter 5 Eclipses Embrace The night before their departure for the astral nexus, Gareth, Eleanor, Aldrich, and Selene gathered around a flickering campfire, the cool air thick with anticipation. The fire cast shadows on their faces, highlighting the determination in their eyes. They were on the brink of a journey that could alter the fate of Eldoria forever. Gareth broke the silence, his voice firm, yet tinged with an underlying anxiety. Tomorrow we set out for the Astral Nexus. It's the convergence point where we must unite the relics before the Eclipse. This is not just another leg of our journey. It's the fulcrum upon which our entire mission balances. Eleanor, her eyes reflecting the firelight, nodded solemnly. The ancient texts are clear. The Nexus is the only place where the relics' energies can be harmonized. It's as if the fate of Eldoria has been woven into the very fabric of this place. Aldric, ever the pragmatist, leaned forward, his gaze shifting from Gareth to Elena. Navigating to the Nexus won't be straightforward. The land itself guards the path, hiding it from those not meant to find it. We'll need every bit of knowledge and skill among us to overcome the challenges ahead. Celine's voice, cool and measured, added a layer of gravity to the conversation. And let's not forget the ceremony. Uniting the relics is more than just a physical act. It requires a profound understanding of their essence and a willingness to embrace their combined power. It's a ritual that demands balance, not just of the relics, but within ourselves. Gareth looked around the circle, meeting the eyes of his companions. We've each faced our own trials, but together we've grown stronger. The relics, the Echo Blade, the Ethereal Core, the Stygian Amulet, and the Luminar Crystal, each holds a piece of the power needed to shield Eldoria from Drachmoria's darkness. But it's more than just their power. It's the unity they represent. A unity we must embody. Elena's voice was soft but firm. We're not just fighting for Eldoria's survival. We're fighting for its soul, for the harmony that once made it a beacon of light in the darkness. The Astral Nexus is where we turn the tide, where we bring back the balance that has been lost. Aldrich stood, silhouetted against the fire, his shadow dancing on the ground. Then let's make sure we're ready. We'll need to be sharp, focused, and united. The path will test us, but I believe in us, in our resolve and in our mission. Celine's eyes gleamed in the firelight, a mix of resolve and a hint of something deeper, perhaps a recognition of the personal stakes involved. The eclipse is our deadline, but also our beacon. It's no coincidence that our paths have converged at this moment. Eldoria's fate is in our hands. The group fell into a thoughtful silence, each person lost in contemplation of the task ahead. The journey to the Astral Nexus was not just a test of their abilities, but a testament to their growth, a chance to prove that unity could be their greatest strength. As the fire dwindled to embers, the group disbanded, each person carrying the weight of the conversation to their rest. Tomorrow, they would embark on the most critical leg of their journey, armed with the knowledge, skills, and unity forged through their shared trials. The path to the Astral Nexus awaited, and with it, the chance to change the course of history. The dawn crested over the horizon, casting long shadows over the group as they made their way toward the heart of the mystical realm where the astral nexus lay hidden. The path was not marked by signs or trails. Instead, it was veiled in enigma, accessible only to those who could unravel the secrets of the land itself. Aldric led the way his eyes scanning the environment with a precision honed through years of navigating the wildest terrains of Eldoria. Notice the way the moss grows thicker on the north side of these stones, he pointed out, and the subtle alignment of these ancient trees. They form a path, leading us directly to the Nexus. Eleanor, her gaze fixed on an old, weather-worn scroll, nodded in agreement. The texts speak of the guardians of the path, Elements of nature that guide the worthy to the heart of magic. Aldrich's observations confirm the lore. Each marker is a testament to the trials we've overcome and a guide to what lies ahead. Celine walked slightly apart, her eyes distant yet observant. 
The Nexus is more than a point of convergence. It is a test of will, a crucible for those who dare to unite the relics. The ceremony we are about to undertake... She paused, her voice taking on a somber tone. ...requires not just physical presence, but a union of minds and spirits. The balance we seek to achieve with the relics must first be achieved within us. The group paused at a clearing where the air seemed to pulse with an unseen energy. The ground was scattered with stones, each inscribed with symbols that shimmered under the light of the rising sun. Aldrich knelt, tracing the symbols with his fingers. His brow furrowed in concentration. These are not mere decorations, he mused aloud, but sigils of power, acting as keys to the Nexus. Each step we take is a step closer to our destiny. Elena leaned over a particularly intricate sigil, her eyes lighting up with recognition. This symbol represents harmony, a core principle of the magic that binds Eldoria. Our journey, our struggles, and the alliances we formed, they all lead to this moment of unity. Celine's gaze turned toward the horizon, where the sky seemed to merge with the earth in a dance of light and shadow. Beyond this point, Every step, every breath, must be in harmony. The ritual we are about to perform is ancient and delicate. Misstep, and we risk unleashing forces we cannot control. As the group gathered, forming a circle around the clearing center, they each felt the weight of their journey, the sacrifices made, and the hope that lay in the balance. The path to the astral nexus was not just a physical trek, but a journey of the soul, a test of their resolve and unity. With Aldrich's guidance, Elena's wisdom and Celine's insight, they stepped forward, each movement synchronized, each breath a whisper of the unity they sought. The air around them began to shimmer, the veil between worlds thinning as they approached the threshold of the astral nexus. This was the beginning of the final leg of their quest, a moment that would define the fate of Eldoria and all who called it home. The journey to the Astral Nexus was not just a path to power, but a pilgrimage towards understanding the true essence of unity and balance. The Astral Nexus loomed ahead, an ethereal convergence point shrouded in mystic energies. The journey had tested the group's resolve, yet they pressed forward, guided by Aldrich's unwavering navigation, Elena's historical insights and Selene's ability to shield their minds from the haunting echoes that reverberated through the Nexus. As they approached, the very air seemed to hum with the weight of Drachmoria's legacy. Aldric, calm amidst the spectral turbulence, led the way, his keen eyes deciphering the natural markers that guided them through the tumultuous energies. The essence of the Luminar crystal, held by Gareth, pulsed with a gentle glow, its radiance intertwined with the echoes of the astral nexus. Elena walked beside Aldric, her eyes darting between the surroundings and the ancient texts she carried. This place holds memories, not just of Eldoria, but of the darkness that seeks to consume it. We must remain vigilant, for the nexus reveals truths that can be as unsettling as they are enlightening. Aldric's voice cut through the ambient whispers, I can feel the resonance of the land, but it's distorted by the echoes of Drachmoria's conquest. These visions are more than just remnants of the past. They're warnings, cautionary tales. As they delved deeper, the shadows clung to their thoughts, creating spectral illusions that played upon their deepest fears. Elena, with her vast knowledge of Eldoria's history, offered context to these phantasmal spectacles, grounding the group in the reality beneath the illusions. Celine, her gaze piercing the veils of illusion, extended her darkened hand. An arcane shield emanated from her, pushing back the haunting visions. The astral nexus feeds on the fears embedded in Eldoria's soul. We must remain resolute. Fear is a weapon that Drachmoria wields, but we shall not succumb. Gareth, Echo Blade at the ready, felt the Luminar Crystal's gentle glow strengthen. Aldrich's guidance, Eleanor's insights, and Selene's protective magic harmonized, forming a shield against the spectral onslaught. They walked through the echoes of Drachmoria's past, 
their unity a beacon of resistance amidst the haunting symphony. The astral nexus unfolded before them, a realm where the threads of destiny intertwined. The combined efforts of Aldric, Elena, and Selene had fortified Gareth's resolve, enabling him to navigate through the tumultuous echoes without losing himself to the shadows. The Nexus awaited, a bridge between history and destiny where the relics would unite to reshape Eldoria's fate. In the heart of the Astral Nexus, the group gathered, surrounded by the ambient hum of mystical energies. The Eclipse ritual lay before them, a complex ceremony that would unite the relics and create a protective shield against Drakmoria's encroaching darkness. Each member brought their unique skills to the forefront, weaving a tapestry of magic that danced with the echoes of Eldoria's destiny. Aldric, the master archer, moved with silent precision, his keen eyes scanning the surroundings. Drawing upon his understanding of protective measures, he set up an intricate network of enchanted wards. Every arrow he loosed carved invisible sigils into the air, creating a secure perimeter against any unwanted intrusions. Elena, her fingers delicately tracing the ancient texts, deciphered the intricate instructions laid out before her. The writing spoke of celestial alignments, ley line convergences, and the delicate balance required for the ritual. Her knowledge, a bridge between the past and the present, guided the group through the complexities of the ceremony. Here. Elena pointed to a specific passage. The relics must align with the constellation of Eldoria's founding. It's a celestial fingerprint that binds the magic of our land to these artifacts. Aldric, ensure the protective wards extend to the edges of this pattern. Aldric nodded, his focus unwavering. With each step, he shot arrows into the air, imbued with protective magic that formed shimmering barriers. The air crackled with the mingling energies of his archery and the arcane protections he crafted. Meanwhile, Selene stepped forward, her dark eyes ablaze with arcane brilliance. She took command of the ritual, her gestures fluid as she orchestrated the dance of magic between the relics. The Luminar Crystal, cradled in Gareth's hands, emitted a soft radiance that harmonized with the rhythmic pulsations of the ethereal core and the Stygian amulet. The Luminar Crystal is the keystone, Selene explained, her voice a melodic incantation. It possesses the essence of Eldoria's light, a force that must guide the convergence. Gareth, focus on the crystal. Let its glow guide you in harmonizing with the relics. Gareth closed his eyes, attuning himself to the subtle energies emanating from the Luminar Crystal. As Selene directed the ritual, he felt the Echo Blade resonate in response. The relics, their distinct powers now entwined, hummed with a collective energy that resonated through the Astral Nexus. Selene's hands moved in intricate patterns, guiding the relics into alignment. The air shimmered as the astral nexus responded to their efforts, the boundaries between magic and reality blurred. The group stood in the eye of the arcane storm, united by purpose and bound by the destiny that lay ahead. As the ritual reached its zenith, a surge of power cascaded through the relics. The protective shield materialized, a radiant barrier that encased the group within its embrace. The eclipse ritual a symphony of Aldric's protective arts, Elena's scholarly guidance and Selene's arcane mastery had succeeded. The relics are one, Selene declared, her eyes reflecting the newfound harmony. Drakmoria's dark magic will be repelled and Eldoria shall stand strong against the impending eclipse. The group, now encased in the protective barrier, felt the subtle shift in the astral nexus. The artifacts, united by their individual strengths, had created a haven where Eldoria's destiny would be safeguarded against the looming shadows. As they prepared for the final confrontation, the echoes of the Eclipse ritual lingered, echoing the promise of a kingdom's resilience. Within the protective barrier forged by the Eclipse ritual, the group prepared for the imminent confrontation with Drakmoria's generals. The air crackled with tension, as shadowy figures emerged from the encroaching darkness, heralding the arrival of formidable adversaries. 
Aldrich, Elena, and Cellini, each recognizing their pivotal roles, stood alongside Gareth, their collective strength ready to face the looming threat. Aldrich surveyed the battlefield with a keen eye, his strategic genius shining through. Gareth, we need to exploit their formation. Elena, guide us on their weaknesses based on the relic's lore. Selene, be prepared to counter any dark magic they might unleash. We strike as one, an unbroken front against Drachmoria's generals. Gareth nodded, acknowledging the importance of Aldrich's strategic insight. With a glance at Elena, he urged her to share her knowledge. Elena, what can you tell us about these generals and their vulnerabilities? Elena, her eyes focused on the approaching figures, began to recite ancient texts from her extensive knowledge of Eldoria's history. These generals draw their strength from the shadows. They are attuned to Drachmoria's dark magic, but each has a unique susceptibility. The Echo Blade can disrupt their connection to the shadows, the Ethereal Core can counter their arcane enhancements, and the Stygian Amulet can shield against their malevolent spells. As the generals closed in, Gareth unsheathed the Echo Blade, its radiant glow contrasting against the encroaching darkness. Aldric, bow at the ready, prepared to unleash a barrage of enchanted arrows. Elena held the Luminar Crystal aloft, ready to channel its light, while Selene stood poised, her hands charged with both light and dark magic. The confrontation erupted, a symphony of clashes and bursts of magic, Aldrich's arrows found their marks, disrupting the general's advance. Elena's swift incantations wove protective spells around the group, countering the general's dark magic. Selene's mastery over both light and shadow created a dynamic dance, turning the tide of battle in their favor. Aldrich's archery skills proved instrumental in outmaneuvering the generals, guiding the group through the chaotic battlefield with precision. His arrows struck true, exploiting the vulnerabilities Elena had identified. The generals, momentarily disoriented, found their connection to the shadows disrupted by the Echo Blade's radiant power. Elena's quick thinking and deep knowledge of the relic's lore became apparent as she directed the group to exploit the general's weaknesses. Her incantations, synchronized with the relics, created a formidable defense against the general's dark magic. The Luminar Crystal, held high, emitted a radiant aura that not only shielded against malevolent spells, but also bolstered the group's morale. Selene, dancing between light and shadow, countered the general's every move. Her mastery over both magical elements allowed her to unravel their dark spells and cast blinding bursts of light that disoriented the shadow-infused adversaries. In the heart of battle, Selene showcased the delicate balance between light and dark, proving her indispensable role in the group's defense. As the confrontation reached its zenith, the generals, their dark powers disrupted and countered, began to retreat into the shadows from whence they came. The united efforts of Gareth, Aldrich, Elena, and Seleni had proven victorious, dispelling the immediate threat of Drachmoria's generals. The protective barrier, infused with the relic's combined energies, resonated with the echoes of battle. The group, standing amidst the aftermath, felt the weight of their collective triumph. Aldrich's strategic brilliance. Elena's scholarly guidance and Selene's mastery of magic had not only supported Gareth, but had elevated them all to pivotal figures in Eldoria's defense. The destiny of the kingdom now hung in the balance as they prepared for the challenges that lay ahead. The aftermath of the battle left an indelible mark on Gareth, and as the harmonious energies of the relics enveloped him, a transformation began. The Echo Blade, now resonating with the balanced essence of the Ethereal Core, Stygian Amulet, and Luminar Crystal, pulsed with a radiant light. The air crackled with the mystical energy as Gareth, the Chosen One, stood at the epicenter of this magical metamorphosis. Aldrich, Elena, and Selene, the architects of this victory, gathered around Gareth. Their faces reflected a mix of anticipation and concern realizing the significance of the moment. Each had played a vital role in bringing the relics together, 
and now their collective strength was channeled through Gareth. Aldrich, his stoic gaze unwavering, stepped forward. Gareth, remember the lessons of the world. Precision. Focus. The power of the relics flowed through you. felt a profound unity with the relics. The Echo Blade, now an extension of his newfound power, resonated with a harmonious energy that seemed to echo the diverse strengths of Aldric, Elena, and Selene. Gareth's transformation was not a usurpation of his identity, but an integration of the relic's power with his own. His eyes, once reflecting uncertainty, now held a resolute clarity. The united artifacts, had not only transformed him, but had marked the emergence of a symbol. A symbol of resistance, hope, and the unity that could withstand the encroaching darkness. Aldrich, Elena, and Selene, witnessing the transformation they had played a part in, nodded in silent acknowledgement. The Chosen One had embraced the relic's power without losing himself, and in doing so, he became a beacon a symbol of the kingdom's resilience against the looming threat of Drachmoria. With the echoes of the transformative ritual lingering in the air, the group stood united at the Astral Nexus, a convergence point of mystical energies and destinies. The relics, now attuned to Gareth's heightened connection, pulsed in harmony, resonating with the newfound power that coursed through him. Selene, her eyes reflecting the intricate dance of light and shadow, stepped forward. The relics have granted you a connection to Eldoria's magic, Gareth. But the journey is not over. Drakmoria's forces will sense the shift in power, and the final confrontation is inevitable. We must prepare. Elena, her expression a blend of sagacious determination, added, The relics have united us, not just as companions, but as a force capable of countering the darkest of threats. The knowledge embedded within these artifacts will guide us. We are not alone in this. Aldrich, ever the stoic strategist, spoke with unwavering conviction. Our journey has forged a bond that transcends individual strengths. Each relic, each member of this group, plays a crucial role. Gareth, you are not alone in bearing the burden of destiny. We face this final confrontation together. The Astral Nexus, a nexus of converging destinies, became a staging ground for the unity forged through trials and victories. The relics, the embodiment of Eldoria's ancient magic, now bore witness to the strength of diverse talents bound by a common purpose. As the group prepared for the final battle, Selene shared insights into the dark forces that lurked beyond the veil of reality, her knowledge of forbidden magic and the machinations of Drachmoria's generals became a vital asset. 
offering a strategic advantage against their formidable adversaries. Elena delved into Eldoria's historical archives, uncovering forgotten lore that spoke of previous conflicts and the resilience of the kingdom. Her wisdom became a beacon, illuminating the path forward and providing Gareth with a deeper understanding of his role in the unfolding destiny. Aldric, drawing upon his tactical acumen, strategized their approach to the impending confrontation. The relics, now seen not just as powerful artifacts but as tools to be wielded with finesse, became integral to their battle plan. His archery, once focused on precision, now took on a strategic depth that complemented the combined strength of the relics. As they stood at the precipice of the final confrontation, the united group, Gareth, Eleanor, Aldric and Selene, embodied the culmination of their collective journey. The astral nexus, now a bastion of harmonious energies, heralded the impending clash that would determine the fate of Eldoria. The relics, united in purpose, pulsed in anticipation as the group braced for the ultimate battle against Drakmoria and the forces of darkness that sought to eclipse the kingdom's light.